Thinking about adopting a shelter cat? It's a wonderful idea and here's why. When you adopt from a shelter, you're not just bringing home a pet, you're saving a life. Shelters are often overcrowded, and by choosing to adopt, you're providing a loving home for a cat that desperately needs one. But it's not just about saving lives, it's also about enriching your own. Cats are known for their independent yet loving nature. They're low maintenance, they're playful, and they're excellent companions. Whether you're lounging on the couch or working from home, a cat will be there, offering quiet company. So why not consider a shelter cat as your first choice when adopting? These felines have so much love to give, and in return, they only ask for a warm home and a loving heart. Are you ready to learn how to bring home your new feline friend? So, you're ready to adopt a shelter cat, but where do you begin? Well, the first step is to find a reputable shelter. You can do this by conducting a simple online search or asking for recommendations from friends, family, or your local veterinarian. It's important to find a shelter that not only cares for the physical needs of their cats, but also their emotional needs. Look for shelters that provide a clean, safe, and enriching environment for their feline residents. Once you've found a shelter, the next step is to pay a visit. This is a vital part of the process as it gives you an opportunity to meet the cats and assess their personalities. Remember, every cat is unique. Some may be outgoing and playful, others may be shy and reserved. Don't rush this step. Take your time to get to know the cats. During your visit, you'll also want to assess your compatibility with the potential adoptive cats. Consider factors such as the cat's energy level, sociability, and comfort around people. If you have other pets at home, it's essential to consider how the new addition would fit in. Spending quality time with the cats can help you understand their personalities better. Don't be afraid to ask the shelter staff questions. They can provide valuable insights into the cat's behavior, likes, and dislikes. Adopting a cat is a long-term commitment. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure that the cat you choose will be a good fit for your lifestyle and home. Whether you're looking for a cuddly companion to curl up with on the couch or a playful feline friend to keep you on your toes, there's a shelter cat out there just waiting to meet you. Remember, adopting a cat is not just about saving a life. It's about finding a new family member who will bring joy, happiness, and companionship to your home. Now that you know where to start, let's dive deeper into the adoption process. You found a cat you're interested in, but what's next? Well, the next step is the adoption application. This is a critical part of the process, and it's designed to ensure that you and your potential pet are a good match. The application will typically ask for basic information like your name, address, and contact details. But it's not just a formality. The shelter uses this information to learn more about you and your lifestyle. They want to make sure they're placing their cats in safe, loving, and suitable homes. You might be asked about your employment situation, your living arrangements, and whether you have any other pets. These questions aren't there to catch you out. They're designed to help the shelter understand what kind of home environment you can provide. For example, some cats might not do well in homes with other pets, while others might thrive in a bustling household. You may also be asked about your previous experience with pets, your expectations for your new cat, and how you plan to care for them. These questions help the shelter gauge your preparedness and willingness to take on the responsibility of a new pet. Remember, honesty is absolutely crucial during this process. It might be tempting to tell the shelter what you think they want to hear, but it's important to be truthful. If you work long hours or have a small apartment, it doesn't necessarily mean you won't be approved. It just helps the shelter make the best possible match for both you and the cat. Finally, you'll likely need to provide references. These could be from a previous vet, a landlord, or someone who can vouch for your ability to care for a pet. It's a good idea to let these people know ahead of time that they might be contacted. So, take your time with the application, answer all questions thoroughly and honestly. Remember, the goal isn't just to get a cat, it's to get a cat who will be happy and thrive in your care. With the application complete, you're one step closer to bringing home your new pet. Your journey towards cat adoption is moving forward, and the joy of a new feline friend is almost within your grasp. While waiting for your application to be approved, what can you do? Well, there's no better time than the present to begin preparing your home for your new feline friend. Let's start with cat-proofing your home. Cats are curious creatures by nature, and they love to explore. So, it's crucial to make sure there's nothing in their reach that can harm them. This means securing loose wires, putting away small objects that could be swallowed, 
and ensuring that all cleaning products and medications are stored out of paws reach. Also, some common houseplants can be toxic to cats, so do a quick check and make sure none of your greenery is on the danger list. Next, let's talk supplies. At the very least, you'll need food and water bowls, a litter box, and some cat food. But to make your cat feel truly at home, consider getting a scratching post to help them keep their claws in check and a comfy cat bed for those all-important cat naps. Toys are also a great way to keep your cat entertained and help them burn off some energy. Now, on to creating a safe and welcoming environment. It's a good idea to set up a safe room for your new cat. This is a quiet, secure space where your cat can retreat to if they're feeling overwhelmed. Equip this room with a litter box, food and water, and a cozy place to sleep. Over time, as your cat becomes more comfortable, they can start exploring the rest of the house under your watchful eye. Last but not least, remember to give your home a thorough clean before your cat arrives. Cats have a keen sense of smell, and removing any strong odors can help them settle in more easily. It's also a good idea to vacuum up any dust or loose hairs that might irritate your cat's delicate senses. With your home all set, you're ready for the next step. And remember, preparing your home is just as much for you as it is for your cat. It's all about creating a happy, healthy, and harmonious space where you and your new companion can thrive together. Scene script. Your application has been approved. What should you do on the big day? The moment you've been waiting for has finally arrived. You're bringing your new feline friend home. This is an exciting time, but it can also be a little daunting, especially if you've never had a cat before. Let's walk through the process together. Upon arrival, it's important to remember that this is a big transition for your new pet. The world they knew has changed, and they're in a completely new environment. So it's up to you to make this transition as smooth as possible. Start by preparing a quiet, safe space for your cat. This can be a spare room, a bathroom, or even a large closet. Make sure it has all the essentials. Food, water, a litter box, and a cozy place to sleep. Introduce your cat to its new environment gradually. Let them explore this safe space first. Once they seem comfortable, gradually introduce them to the rest of the house. Patience is key here. Don't force your cat to explore. Let them do it at their own pace. In the first few days, your cat may hide, seem nervous, or be less interested in eating. This is completely normal. It's just their way of coping with the change. Be patient and give them time to adjust. And remember, every cat is unique. Some may adjust in a few days, others may take weeks. It's important to watch for signs that your cat is settling in. These can include eating and drinking normally, using the litter box regularly, and showing interest in playing or interacting with you. Above all, shower your new pet with love and patience. This is a new chapter in both of your lives, and it's going to take some getting used to. But with time, you'll get to know each other and form a bond that's truly special. Congratulations, you're now a proud cat parent. Now, let's move forward with our journey of discovery and companionship. It's an adventure that will be filled with purrs, cuddles, and lots of love. Let's recap what we've learned about adopting a shelter cat. We've understood that the adoption process is more than just picking out a cute kitty. It's about making a lifelong commitment to a feline friend in need. We've delved into the adoption application, which asks important questions to ensure we're ready for this responsibility. We've also talked about preparing your home, making it a safe and welcoming space for your new pet. We've discussed essentials like a litter box, food and water dishes, and toys, as well as cat-proofing areas that might pose a risk. Finally, we've covered the joyful day of bringing your cat home, reminding ourselves to be patient as our new friend adjusts to their surroundings. And remember, every cat is unique. They'll show their love in their own special way. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, adopting a shelter cat is a rewarding experience that saves a life. We hope this guide helps you on your journey to cat parenthood.